What's up everybody? Consider hitting the like and subscribe button as I upload videos on a weekly basis covering the hottest topics in sports, especially if it is OU related. This is Ballin' with Bowie. March Madness continues, so today I'm going to break down the round of 32. Everyone's brackets are completely garbage following the round of 32 because there were some major upsets once again. Uh, so let's jump right in. First game, Gonzaga versus OU. Obviously, OU wasn't expected to win the game versus the number one team in the nation. They played hard in the first half. I mean, that's all you can really expect from them. Um, but Gonzaga won pretty easily. They controlled the entirety of the second half. And, and towards the end of the first half, they gained momentum and just kind of rode that for the rest of the game. They won 87-71 to advance to the Sweet 16. Creighton versus Ohio. Creighton, again, another game where they controlled the majority of the game. Ohio just didn't have an answer for him, and Creighton gets a dub, 72-58. To set up a matchup, matchup with the Zags in the Sweet 16, uh, Creighton, they, they shoot the three fairly well, but Gonzaga is also a really good, uh, complete team, and I don't think that Creighton's going to be able to hang, so I got Gonzaga moving on to the Elite Eight in that matchup. USC versus Kansas. My gosh, Kansas got absolutely destroyed. USC won 85-51, to and Kansas didn't have an answer for the, the entirety of the game. USC controlled from the start of the game to the end of the game. They controlled uh, the entire game. Uh, the Pac-12 has, has been showing up in the tournament. They're... they're uh, everyone's been saying the Big Ten is the best conference, the Big 12 is the best conference, and the Pac-12 said, watch this, and they have been on a tear. The entire conference has been on a tear for um, the, the entire tournament. And with that said, moving on to the next matchup, 7 Oregon versus 2 Iowa. Iowa is a very good team. They have the potential player of the year, Luca Garza, and Oregon completely dominated them. They, Iowa could, just could not stop Oregon from scoring. They scored at will, and they put up 95 points which Iowa put up 80. Uh, when you put up 80 points, you expect to win the basketball game. But Oregon put up 95, and, and that's without overtime. They put up 95. Um, but they get the win, 95-80, get the upset to advance to the Sweet 16 to set up a Pac-12 matchup between USC and Oregon. And the winner of that game is going to be moving on to the Elite Eight. Um, I don't think anyone expected Oregon to, to make it out uh, of the bottom of this bracket of this region, but USC, I had them I had them advancing. I had Iowa advancing. So USC, Oregon, man, I don't know. They both looked really good in the previous games. If I, if, oh man, I don't know, honestly, USC or Oregon. I, I guess I got to roll with Oregon just because they, they won the regular season title in the Pac-12, so I expect them to be able to, to beat USC. So I'll take Oregon in that one. And that concludes the West region. Moving on to the South region, Baylor, uh, handled Wisconsin fairly easily. They won 76-63. to um, It wasn't ever too close throughout the game. Wisconsin just couldn't hang with Baylor, and, and Baylor got another easy win to move on to the Sweet 16 to set up a matchup with Villanova where they dominated their game against North Texas. It was never close. Once again, most of these games have been going this way uh, so far that I've talked about. They won 84-61. to Set up a matchup, Baylor-Villanova. I mean, I got Baylor moving on. I thought... Purdue is going to make it uh, from that portion of the bracket, but Villanova advanced, but it doesn't change my mind. I still think Baylor is going to be able to advance to the Elite Eight fairly easily. Moving on down in the South region, Texas Tech versus Arkansas. Arkansas and Texas Tech, That this was a very good basketball game. Arkansas had a, a fairly good lead in the second half, but Texas Tech was able to make a run and cut it close, and they had a chance to tie it at the buzzer, and they just couldn't hit their shot. Uh, and Arkansas ended up winning 68-66. to it, it just snuck by, which Arkansas is I, who I had winning that game. And they're going to move on to play ORU. They beat 7-seed Florida, 81-78. to They have now knocked off Ohio State and now the Florida Gators, and they are in the Sweet 16 as a 15-seed against Arkansas. And I, I think they can beat Arkansas. They have every, every right to think that they can beat them and move on uh, to the Elite Eight. Now, if, if they end up moving on and they face a potential Baylor, I think that's where the magic is going to end for them. But shout out to ORU for, for making it to the Sweet 16. That's a heck of an accomplishment. Uh, representing Oklahoma because University of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State surely didn't show out in the tournament. And, I mean, you could arguably say ORU is the best college basketball team in the state of Oklahoma. So they're going to match up with Arkansas. Man, I don't know who I have winning that game. Um... 
I mean, I, I got to go with o ORU, honestly. I mean, why wouldn't I go with ORU? They, they're looking really good right now. Uh, so, yeah, I got ORU in that one. Moving on to the Midwest region, Illinois lost to Loyola, Chicago. This has to be the upset of the tournament, I think, even though it's just a 1-8 matchup. Illinois has looked dominant for weeks now. They A lot of people had them winning the the whole thing. A lot of people had them in the Final Four. I had them in my Final Four. This is my first Final Four team to get bounced from the tournament, and they lost 71-58. to It was never that close. Loyola Chicago had a... Like, they sustained about a 6-10 to 10 point lead for the majority of the game. Illinois just could not cut it close, and they lost, like I said, they lost 71-58 to set up a matchup against Oregon State. And Oklahoma State, man, y'all disappointed me. Kate Cunningham, my gosh, you did not show up for either of your games in the tournament. I can't remember what Kate Cunningham shot in this game against Oregon State, but it wasn't good. I want to say it was like 6 for 20 or something like that. Uh, he did not play well whatsoever. He only had one turnover, uh, so he did handle the ball better than he usually does. I will say that, but he did not shoot good at all. He did end up dropping 24. Eight of those points came from the free throw line, but 6 to 20, man, that, that isn't going to get it done, obviously, because you lost 80 to 70. Oregon State, they're, I mean, they're making a run. They're, that sets up an a 8 versus 12 matchup, so the winner of that one's going to be in the lead 8. You're going to have an 8 seed or a 12 seed in the lead 8. Moving on down, Syracuse versus West Virginia, another disappointment from the Big 12. West Virginia gets upset by Syracuse, 75-72. Uh, Syracuse is making a run, and they're going to play uh, Houston, which they went won against Rutgers 63-60, to and they almost lost. They were down by, I can't remember how much, with just a couple minutes left, and they were able to make a run at the end of the game to grab that victory. And I think Syracuse is going to beat Houston, quite honestly. Um, I don't have faith in Houston. I, I thought this is where the, the line was going to end for them. I just thought West Virginia was going to end it, but... Now I think Syracuse is going to end it. And Oregon State, Loyola Chicago. I mean, i got to go with Loyola Chicago because they just knocked off Illinois. And that wraps up the Midwest. So go jump to the East. Michigan versus LSU. This was a pretty good basketball game. It was back and forth for the majority of the game until Michigan was able to pull away uh, kind of late in the second half when they got the, the win, 86-78. And they're going to face Florida State when they dominated Colorado, 71-53. to Another game that wasn't ever close. Uh, Michigan versus Florida State, I think is going to be a good game. Um, I went back and forth before the tournament started on who I thought was going to win this game because I had both these teams advancing to this point. But I, th I still am going to stand with Michigan. Michigan is actually looking better than I thought they would in this tournament. They're looking really good. They're looking like the team that uh, I saw several weeks ago before the start of the tournament, before the end of the regular season. UCLA uh, versus ACU. ACU knocked off University of Texas. Uh, UCLA advanced 67-47, another game that wasn't really ever close. And they're going to play Alabama, who they picked up a, a victory, 96-77 against Maryland. Another game that was never really close. But I have Alabama in my Final Four, so I got them knocking off the Bruins. But UCLA, they're looking really good. Uh, they have a chance to beat Alabama, I think. This is going to be a good game, I, um, in my opinion. And maybe the UCLA will be able to pull off an upset. But there's still a lot of high seeds left in this tournament. you got 11 seed UCLA, 11 seed Syracuse, 12 seed Oregon State, 8 seed Loyola Chicago, uh, 15 seed ORU. Um, I think that's about all the high seeds. you got a 5, a 6, a 7. Um, but yeah, it's been one crazy tournament. If, if your bracket still looks good, you don't know basketball because there's been so many upsets. If, if you've called the majority of these upsets, you were just clicking things, boop, boop, boop. You, you didn't actually watch these teams for the entirety of the season because a lot of these games, even if you did pick an upset, that it wasn't supposed to happen, which, that, I mean, that's how the tournament works anyways. But there, there's, it's been a hectic tournament. I, I can't recall a tournament since I've been watching college basketball that has been this crazy. But that wraps up the round of 32. Sweet 16 is next. I'm, man, I, I'm uh, loving this tournament so far. I've been watching. I've been glued to my TV. I'm, uh, my girlfriend, or my fiance, rather, is probably sick of watching college basketball. But it's that time of year, so that's what we're doing. So I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.